Say hi to everyone. Can you say hi? Say hi. Yeah. Yeah, you just say hi. Can you say hi? my channel so today's video is going to be about baby eczema the reason why i'm making this video is because back when i was actually going through uh my daughter's eczema like really really bad it was like the bad stages there wasn't really that much information that on uh youtube and i felt like you know what i might as well make a video on baby eczema especially i wanted to know people's like life like what did they actually do i didn't want to just read it from google um my daughter she went through baby eczema when she was about four three or four months old and I actually was struggling through like I don't know what the heck happened like why does she have this on her skin I was blaming myself I was just like oh my gosh why does she have this rash like, I don't understand so I went to the doctor they told me my daughter's skin was really really sensitive and I needed to be careful with what I use products that I was using for my daughter lotions was vanity cream which is this right here I use this product this is actually prescribed to her from her doctor and this worked really really good whenever my daughter broke out in a rash on her on her face or like in between her um creases i would put that on the next day it will go away so i think you can buy it at a local store if not you can ask your doctor to prescribe you or your child vanity cream because that really worked for me another product that worked is hydrofor um this worked really good sorry it's open i can't close it for some reason this is just like Aquaphor. Aquaphor, you can buy it at your local Walmart, Target, anywhere. You can pretty much buy Aquaphor. But that worked really, really good, especially between the creases. Sometimes baby eczema, if you notice, when they sweat in between the creases, it kind of irritates their skin to the point where it looks like it has like a cut in it and it like stuff is oozing out. I was so paranoid when that happened to me, Chimera, that I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is medical emergency. Why is my daughter oozing stuff out of her skin? Like, that's not normal. So what I did was I would dry it, like, get a washcloth, dry the washcloth, pat it, clean, pat it. And then I would put Aquaphor on it so that it doesn't, when she does sweat, it doesn't irritate in her creases. And that actually helped a lot when it came to her skin. So hopefully, uh, if your child is going through that, you can do that as well because that actually helped. That actually helped her skin. So another thing that I was using for, for her shampoo E, uh, the raw shampoo and argan oil baby head to toe wash and shampoo i stumbled across it and so far it was the best buy i made uh this is actually pretty good it makes her hair smell good i also use aquaphor from eucerin it actually works pretty good i really love this i was using the avino there's like a vino line for her but that actually broke her out surprisingly but this actually works like i really really love this and i recommend it um I don't use it for her shampoo because I like her. I want her to smell good, and this is what I use for her hair. Uh, it it just has shea moisture, caramel, and argan oil. It doesn't have any harsh things. It's all natural. If you're breastfeeding, maybe it's something that you're eating. Um, for me, it was dairy, um, eggs, and like red sauce, like spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce, any type of sauce that was red, it was breaking her out. Especially if it was like tomato, it was breaking her out. So I had to eliminate eating that. So maybe you should watch what you're eating if you're breastfeeding and you notice that your daughter or son is flaring up. Maybe that will help too. Another thing with baby eczema is you don't want to put like clothes on them that's not cotton material. You want to make sure that their clothes aren't irritating their skin as well. I always made sure my daughter was wearing cotton fabrics not anything harsh like that'll irritate her skin i also changed detergents i was using i think it's dreft that they usually sell for babies i was using that at some point then i stopped because i noticed there was a fragrance in it so i now use the ecos i think that's what it's called it has no fragrance nothing harsh chemicals um that will irritate her skin so so far that has worked really well i don't use fabric like softeners or anything when it comes to putting her clothes in the dry like those fabric sheets i don't use that i just make sure I throw it in the wash and make sure that it's like scent free. I also don't apply lotion on like the top part of my body because I know that's going to break her out. I make sure to hit my elbows though because you know sometimes they be ashy. But other than that, I don't really put like lotion or anything that I know is going to cause her to break out. So if I know she's going to be like on my skin, like, con like skin contact, I don't put any like harsh lotions especially like you know the Victoria's Secret lotions or anything like that I don't put on. I'm always iffy about 
everything that's around her or what she's like what she's on because I don't want her to break out. It was a really bad experience for me when it came to her at baby eczema. I felt like I, it was my fault that she had this um, problem on her skin, but I learned that talking to other people, they also struggle through it. So if you're one of those moms that are really concerned, I feel like you're blaming yourself, please don't blame yourself. A lot of moms go through this with their kids and I finally learn that so hopefully if you're a new mom don't stress out hopefully this video helps you when it comes to the eczema and if you hadn't already please like this video and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys say bye